Okay, so sorry I've been away, I've been exceedingly busy, and I thought I was uh, going to do a tube video, or an old radio video, uh, because I like to mix things up and not be too mainframe computer, but uh, I got a couple of shipments, and the, the dock here is absolutely full of stuff. Oh boy, it is, it is crowded. Um, let's look at a 2821, an IBM 2821 control unit. We're looking at the back plane. Now, the 2821 was a, uh, a control unit, and it was used to mostly control the, the rather famous 1403 line printer. This was a, a gigantic printer that was probably the best printer of the 1960s, and, uh, cripes, people used them forever. A very good printer. Well, the printer itself was pretty dumb, so you needed this big, big blue box... And uh, here we're looking at the back plane. And, you know, it's, it's interesting, even though it is System 360 era stuff, they used the older technology called SMS. You can see all discrete transistors. But you know what? We are not going to look at this one, because I got another one that's way more interesting. Let's walk over. Oops, sorry, just bumped you there. It's interesting because it's red. Yeah, red was actually a standard color. There's the tag. I'll show you why this one's interesting. Let's open it up. And, uh, yeah, the doors are a little wonky on this one. IBM doors were not all that great, to tell you the truth. They, they do get biffed up and go out of, go out, out of alignment pretty easily. Okay, back plane. Yeah, pretty normal. Yeah, it's got a little few dings. I've got to fix that latch. Let's swing out the gate. Wait a minute. There's only one gate, which is very interesting. There's a whole lot of air in this one. So I opened up the, uh, the doors to the gate. You know, this is just looking very weird. To my surprise, look at this. It's a different technology. There's still SMS cards, those uh, phenolic papery cards, but they've got the 360 era aluminum cans on them, which were sort of hybrid. Uh, they're not. They're not quite ICs. They actually do have individual little transistors and diodes and things like that. But they were the next step in IBM uh, circuitry. It gets even weirder. Let's take this card out here. You can remember where it is. It's right next to this dark, dark brown one. If you look at it, and let's get it to focus. Focus. Okay, come on, focus. It's actually even later than SLT. This is actually MST, I believe, with those numbers. That chip there by my thumb, that is that is classic SLT from the 360 era. But this is MST from the 370 era, the early 70s. These are actually more or less real ICs. So this thing is a real mystery. Let me put this card back before I lose where it goes. I don't know if I have docs on this. And my normal 2821 docs aren't going to be much use with this interesting device. But they, uh, let's get the focus there, okay. This looks like it was probably a cost-reduced design. Still has what appears to be the core stack, or a core stack. And uh, sorry for the low-level lighting in here. Those are actually the hammer drivers that go to the printer. Those things give, uh, I think they're roughly about 60 volt or 48 volt or somewhere around there. Wax of power to, to actually throw the hammers in the printer. Yes, the printer didn't even have its own hammer drivers. They were external to this box, the 2821. But this thing is a real mystery. Uh, from dates, I see uh, 1971, 1972. But it looks like 2821 went through a redesign at some point. Cost reduction, I'm guessing. Maybe they were uh, trying to 
finally kill off the uh, the uh, basically the the SMS technology. And the other question is, why were they still making 2821s this late in the game? Did they run out of them? Now, certainly the 1403 printer was exceedingly popular, and those things, gripes, those things soldiered on until the gripes. I'm sure there were still some running in the 80s and 90s. Uh, very, very popular, high-quality printer. A real beast. One of these days I'll do a video on mine. And uh, maybe they ran out of control units. I don't know. So if anyone, any old IBMers out there know anything about this late model, apparently, 2821 control unit, I'd love to hear from you. Um, because I'm, it's a little bit of a mystery. But it really does look kind of weird. Like, they cut a whole lot out of it. There's actually not much to see on the other side. It's, it's mostly power supplies. That's it. But, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. So this was very, very unexpected. I thought I'd be getting, oh, okay, well, it's another 2821 landing on my dock. Uh, I do have three of them, believe it or not. It took. It, I was looking for a 2821 for years and years and years, probably 20 years. And then a place shows up that has three of them. Uh, so I bought one, and then he found another one, so I bought that one. And then they found this, green, this, this uh, red one, so I bought that one. And this one, actually, I uh, bought simply because there's a museum out there that eh, they don't quite realize they need it yet, I don't think. So, that's why I bought this. However, they may not get this one because this one is interesting. They may get one of my older ones, like the blue one that uh, I showed you at the beginning of the video. So anyway, yeah, interesting stuff. Just wild, wild mix of technologies. It has... Some of the uh, 1401 line, some of the 360 line, and some of the 370 line. So anyway, yeah, unexpected video. Like I said, I'll try and get uh, some tube and radio videos or something like that, because I know a lot of you guys like those as well. But yeah, this, this, is, this is amazing. All right, guys. Leave a like, maybe subscribe, and share. And, uh, well... More coming later. See you later. Bye-bye.